What's going on? You watching episode number 44 of About 10 Minutes. Javan Johnson here. How you feeling? How you doing? So a little bit earlier, I was recording some vocals for a song that's coming out, a collaboration song with myself and another brother in Christ, you know, um, that's coming out here. I'm looking forward to it. So I'll be talking about that more in the near future. You know, I laid down my vocals. Uh, the person I'm collaborating with, they had already laid down their vocals at a previous time. And so, yeah, so the song is, is close now. It's close to getting done. I mean, it's obviously some work that needs to be done as far as getting everything sounding more polished, you know, as far as on the editing side of things. But yeah. You know, it'll be coming out, and I'll definitely be talking about that. You know, I'll probably be posting some links and whatnot. I, I enjoy collaborating with other artists, you know, other artists who, who love Jesus Christ, who want fire for Jesus Christ. It, it can bring a whole different dynamic, you know, than what you used to. I'm very thankful for Marie and all the wonderful cooking that she does. If you're not familiar with Marie, you know, you need to get up on Marie. You know what I'm saying? Marie right there. I don't always eat like this, y'all. I don't always eat this. But this is pretty good, you know? I double up on them. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, Marie can throw down. I'm going to eat this one, then I'm going to eat the other one. And then I'm going to try to finish mixing this song. Shout out to Chris and his brother, you know what I mean, for helping me out here. Just picked up my Liberty Pistol shirt. And I'm liking it. I'm liking the way they hooked it up here. Okay. You know. For those of you who don't know. I like how this turned out. I like how it turned out. For those of you who don't know, Living Epistles, that's like the young adults ministry at my church. You know what I'm saying? That's the young adults ministry. So, uh, you know, I got some, some shirt. I wanted to get a shirt made up. Kind of like let the young adults check it out. You know, and they, they came through delivered in good timing. I like the way it looks. Shirt is weighty. So, yeah, most definitely. So, shout out to Chris and his brother for helping me out with this project. We'll show it to the young adults next time we meet, and we'll take it from there. And to all the young adults in my church, if y'all watching this, then y'all already got a heads up on what, it, what it's looking like. So, yeah. So, holla at me, you know what I'm saying? We can get an order of these in. Yeah. So, when you try really hard to do something and you don't produce the type of results you want, it definitely can lead to disappointment. It can lead to sometimes questioning yourself, or what did I do wrong, or you know, how do I avoid having this happen in the future? Maybe you, maybe you, you dealt with the situation where you worked really hard on a test or, or a project or something, and you didn't get the grade you wanted. Maybe you put a lot of preparation into something athletically, maybe a race or a game or something, and you didn't produce the type of results you wanted. These are basically experiences where you don't have the type of success that you would like to have. And it may leave you wondering, what's the next step? What did I do wrong? How do I move forward from here? So it's important for us to keep our, our mind on Jesus and, and, and to stay positive, you know? I mean, the last thing you want to do is, is to start beating yourself up. Throughout life, we have a lot of opportunities to learn uh, lessons from things that we've done. I mean, in some situations, I mean, things just happen. When something happens that disappoints us in life, we have the option to, to get down on ourselves and start complaining and start to, to just feel sorry for ourselves. Or we have the option to look at the bright side of things, to, to continue to, 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 to focus on Jesus Christ, you know, even in the midst of what we're dealing with. And so, I mean, we have options. I mean, and, and so, so many times, you know, it can be easy just to get down on ourselves. It can be easy to start thinking thoughts of discouragement and that kind of stuff. But it, it's important not to let yourself get into that. I mean, so immediately when, when if thoughts of negative thoughts start coming in your mind, just, just counter those thoughts with the Word of God. Get you some scriptures to stand on and counter those words, you know, with the Word of God. And, and just and, and continue to do that and live your life that way where you don't allow like, you know, bad things to, to just ruin your day. If you, if you have a, if you have something that, that goes wrong at one part of your day, don't let it ruin your whole day. Like, if it's a test situation, okay, could I have studied different? Could I have studied harder? Could I, should I put more focus here? Should I have went to, like, that the, the teacher's office hours? Like, what could I have done? Or if it's like, um, if it's something athletic, okay, well, did, did I put in enough practice time? Was my conditioning on point? I mean, to look at those things. Now, sometimes you can put, you can work as hard as you could have possibly worked, and things may just not happen. I mean, sometimes it can be, you know, that the, the team that they played the best game they ever played, 
and they got beat by the other team at the buzzer. There's, there's always room for improvement, but they really gave they all, and they left it all out there. You know, I mean, sometimes, you know, you can give your best effort, and it, and it may not produce the results that you want it to, but keep making progress. That's the big thing. Look at the big picture. Keep making progress, you know. Have you made more progress, you know, this year than where you were at the same point last year, you know, and, and, and if you have, thank God for that, you know, and, and thank God for him giving you another opportunity to advance and progress. It's important for us not to get caught up in our feelings, you know, and just how we feel, but we should rely upon Jesus and his word. If we get caught up in our feelings and just doing things based on how we feel, it can lead to a lot of trouble, you know, because our emotions can, can take us place we don't need to go. You know, I mean, so we really need to keep that stuff in check. I mean, we need to really renew our mind with the Word of God. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we have the victory through Jesus Christ. No matter what the situation looks like, we have the victory. But it's important we be obedient. And God, like, God knows what we're going to face. So so he gave us the Bible, you know what I'm saying? And, and the Word of God helps us to deal with that situation. It's literally, it has the answers. And so we have to search those answers out. And when we search those answers out, we can get solutions to the problems that we're dealing with. And so, I mean... It's important that we take what God has given us. Take it and use it. Use the tools that he's given us. There are so many scriptures in the Bible that we can stand on to help overcome discouragement. When we start to feel doubt or discouragement, it's important that you deal with that stuff quick. You know, it's something you, you need to deal with quick. You don't need to let that stuff linger. You know, you need to deal with it immediately. You know, because if it doesn't, if you don't deal with it immediately, it can grow into a bigger issue. You know, and, and so anytime you're dealing with worry, doubt, fear discouragement if you're ever dealing with that kind of stuff you should really you should really address it immediately you know by by going to the word of god you know speaking the word of god spending time in prayer you know really spend time doing those things to really get your mind back focused on, on where it needs to be sometimes it can be easy to just react the way that we see other people reacting sometimes you may see friends or family who don't have a relationship with jesus christ react in a certain way to something but but, but if you say if you're born again christian it's important for you to remember that you have Jesus Christ. Because sometimes you could be doing okay, and then other people can start saying, well, <gasps> and then they make a big deal out of it, and they get you all hyped up, and you're like, oh, no, you know, and it's like, you was okay at first, but then once they said what they said, and then it got you thinking, and it got you worrying. You know, don't let somebody else cause you to worry um, about something. You know, I mean, cast your cares upon Jesus Christ. I mean, that's the one thing, as a Christian, you don't have to be worried, you know, you, you don't need to be worried. And I know sometimes it, it can be easier said than done because it, there can be things that, that can be on your mind. You can be concerned about things that are coming up, how you're going to take care of certain things. But, I mean, the, the big thing is to, to, to keep casting your cares upon Jesus. We think positive things and speak positive words. You know, we, 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 shouldn't, we should not be speaking negativity, you know, about ourselves. We need to stay positive. We need to stay, we need to stay focused on Jesus Christ. You know, we need to keep our minds 